Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to create a pickup prefabs. Because as we can see our game now, let me just play it. It seems a bit dull. Like we can't. There is no interaction except the player. The player can't interact with any components or game object. So for that we are going to create some pickup prefabs. So. I will create on a 3D object. I will have a cylinder. Reset it. And press F to zoom. Change its dimensions. 0 0.05. 1. Okay. 1. Press E for rotation and you can use control for snap the rope to snap the rotation. For snap moments basically we are using control and it will move by this 0.25. You can change it to any value which you want as per your project need. Yeah, that's cool. Now I'll apply some material. I have already created a material for this. In pre my previous video, I told how to create the materials. And I'll rename this. I'll make it as coin. Also, make it as a prefab. That's cool. I'll create this. Yeah, now if we will run, let's check what happens. This is a coin prefab and we are not able to pass through it. The reason is because we have not used, like we have not activated a sticker component. You can see now. We are able to pass through it, but we are not able to collect it because we haven't created anything. I'll go on my player movement script and create a on trigger new function. Basically what happens is when the player collide with this trigger of the coin it will notify that I have the, this something I have collided with. Now in this uh, function we will check if our player is collided with our coin or not. So what we can do is like this a system called tags in unity basically if we will see here it is untagged or coin is untagged because we haven't created any tag for it or assigned any tag i'll name it a pickup it is case sensitive so you have to be sure like what you are writing because we will use this tag in our script. Now moving to our script. You can press tab, uh, tab key twice for auto completion of any if statement or for statement, while statements. You can press that. And we will write the tag here in string format by string value. Okay. 
this to be shown yeah So what we are doing here is, if we detect a collision between our coin and player, we'll just make the coin disappear. Let's check if it works. But isn't it like there is only one coin place? Yeah, we can make multiple coins by duplicating it, but there will be no fun. It will be good if we will spawn them randomly. Like we have a place, we have a ground, and if coins will spawn randomly, it will be something fun to collect. So we can do that. Let's make a script for coin itself. Or we make a script in the game manager. You can check that when I name the script as game manager. Unity tends to change its icon to something settings like it's quite cool. I'm just creating few public uh, public game objects. This, uh, this will going to store the position of our x and z coordinate here you can see like a ball is moving in x yeah x and z coordinate x and z What are coroutines? I will explain them in a minute. Yes. Hold on.
basically coroutines are the functions which work parallelly with our script. This is the maximum and ma uh, sorry minimum and maximum value of our x coordinate. You can check it from here. Like this is the leftmost one. 9.5 to be on safe side I am using 9 here and here also 9.5 same for Z coordinate This will instantiate the prefab associated with coin which we have created here to our game scene. And what Quaternion dot identity is you uh, using is it will preserve the rotation of our prefab, rotation or transform of our prefab. Let's save it and check what it looks like. First I have to create an empty game object. Um, before we play the game or before we test it there are some flaws in the code I would like you to update. First of all, it's we have to give a value to the count because if we will not give a value then it will take any random value which we will don't know. Second, it's count greater than zero because we are decreasing the value of count once uh, uh, yeah, once a prefab is instantiated or uh, once we instantiate one coin. Also, we can see here uh, like I have not mentioned any Y coordinate. So what I would like to do is like I would like to mention it as one. Then I'll save it and now I'll run it. <coughs> you can see. Also, this coins looks a bit odd because they are lying parallel to our ground, which should not be the case. So, what we will do is we will create a coin a script for our coins. 
will get some rotation also in it. We won't be needing the start method for this group. So what I am doing is, I am giving a transform uh, for the rotation to uh, my coin prepare which is 45 degree in y axis and what this time of delta time is doing that now let's save it and apply it to a coin prepare let's apply it now in plate Nothing happens. Let me check what is the issue. Uh, so let's check finally what we have created. Like we will recall the scripts in coin script. Basically, we what we are doing, we are just rotating the coin using particular transform. While in our game manager script, what we are doing, we are instantiating the coin. We are making coin instantiate at random locations in our ground. In player movement script, we have added a on trigger component, a on trigger a method to a player movement script, uh, which will set active coins. Uh, like which will deactivate the coins if player collided with them. That's all we have learned today. Thank you for watching. See you in.